Is your metabolism really slow? Are you just destined to be overweight? If you're struggling with your weight, today I'm gonna to dispel that myth that maybe you don't have a slow metabolism. It's this type of resistance. And in reality, you may be suffering from something called leptin resistance. So what is leptin resistance? Well, leptin is a hormone that's given off by your fat cells and it signals to the brain your state of affairs. So whether you need to seek out more food, if you have enough body fat for survival, maybe it will make you hungry, it'll make you less hungry, and it has a lot to do with proper sleep and wake cycles and is entrained by the sun and the light from the sun. So when our leptin signaling and our circadian rhythms are out of balance, then this can translate into a slower metabolism and not being able to have proper thyroid function and is the leptin resistance and that can cause us to gain more and more weight. So it is a struggle, I know for a lot of people, but some of the causes of this leptin resistance and what you may have been doing wrong that you didn't realize is that maybe you snack a lot and your blood glucose level Levels are all over the place and they never and you really never have a point in time during the day to get hungry again which is something in part of our signaling for our healthy circadian rhythms maybe you're not getting enough natural sunlight exposure maybe you have a lot of artificial light exposure in your life so from blue lights from your screens from your cell phone and that blue light will be very negative in terms of its impacts for your leptin levels Maybe you're eating a little bit too much. Maybe you're eating too much before bedtime and too close to bedtime, especially carbohydrates. This will really mess up your leptin signaling as well. So my tips here for fixing that slow metabolism and the leptin resistance and the insulin resistance as well is to number one, have a high protein breakfast. Also, don't eat at least three hours before bedtime. So you wanna stop eating usually around 6 p.m. You also want to protect your eyes and your skin from that artificial light, which is higher in that blue light spectrum. So wearing your blue light blocking glasses is going to help and covering your skin when you're indoors from that artificial light will be helpful for your leptin signaling as well. You also want to use natural light whenever you can. So especially after the sun has set, you want to limit your light exposure. But if you need to have lights on, have as much natural light like candlelight in your home as possible. And you definitely want to see that early morning sunlight. So getting outdoors, especially as the sun is rising, this is when it has the most healing rays of the day in terms of being able to set your circadian rhythms and set your body up and your leptin levels up for success for your overall metabolism. For tips on though how to fix your leptin resistance, please check out my video, Leptin Resistance, Nine Tips to Reverse Leptin Resistance. I'll see you there.